Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Wednesday drawing session with me, Frank Cho. So here's my supplies, my mechanical pencil, and my Stratmore bristle board. Today, we are going to draw Tigra from the Marvel Universe. Now, Tigra has a, actually a really funny history. Uh, she started off as a, as a college student who got married to a police officer who died, and then she became like a lab uh, assistant and who got uh, experimented on and became, uh, t not, not Tigra, but at that time she, was, she became the cat, I guess, which later became Hellcat. And then later on, um, in a convoluted uh, comic book way, uh, she was resurrected as Tigra by, by magic and technology, uh, became one of the cat people. So that's the general history. So as Tigra, she has the power of a um, of a feline. So she's uh, she has the ability, the agility of a cat, strength of a a, a cat that size, um, and she's very uh, in a word. I guess she's very scratchy. Uh, so she'll scratch you to death. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Tigra is uh, one of my favorite characters to draw because I like to draw all things jungle, jungle type stuff, jungle characters. And my love for jungle characters came from Willis O'Brien's King Kong. And then through Willis O'Brien, I discover Ray Harryhausen, who is the father of Dynamation, um, the stop motion thing. And it was through Ray, Ray Harryhausen mostly that I became absolutely enamored with the whole jungle characters. So because of Ray Harryhausen, I love dinosaurs, King Kong, monsters, and just and Tarzan and other jungle creatures and monsters and stuff like that. So with that in mind, I really enjoy drawing uh, Tigra because she kind of falls in that, that whole jungle genre, which I love as a kid. So as a, as a jungle character, you want to draw Tigra in a kind of a, a crouching pose, like a squatting pose, where she's ready to spring at you, like she will, she'll, she'll, she'll just pounce at you. So my original pose was have her on, hand, on her hands and knees uh, on a log, uh, like straddling a log, uh, ready to jump at you. So she's like a coiled spring. And... Um, and it's, uh, once I have that mental image in mind, the rest of the figure just came rather quickly, uh, easily. So here I am. I originally had the leg back, back kind of like she's kind of like leaning forward. And I thought, uh, maybe I should kind of like, since I'm drawing the tail up, I should kind of counter that um, tail by drawing the leg, uh, her right leg, straight forward. Because so giving that whole kind of like that cross, overall cross uh, composition. Um, so I had that for a while while, um, while I'm just drawing the rest. So, so I'm working on the, the hair. Um, so Tigra is a very savage feline character, so you want to give her a lot of volume in her hair. So I give it that extra curl, the extra curl and the, the volume and just kind of the like this, almost like this kind of thick mop of hair. And also give her this pointy ear. She has this, uh, Tiger actually has like a pointy ear, like, like a Vulcan. And uh, here I am just kind of like uh, erasing and, you know, this is what I do. I, I sketch, I sketch, I sketch the pose and then I erase it and then I redraw it. It's basically, I, I try to get the best, um, I don't know how to explain it. To the the best line, you know, like because the initial line is not is too scratchy, so I erase it until I get this nice smooth lines. Uh, I'm a big line guy. I I, I tend to uh, my drawing. I like to keep my drawings kind of neat and tight. Um, and so here I am drawing the uh, the the eyes. So if you notice, I drew her eyebrow extra thick. Um, 
because to kind of give her the hint of the the feline savage of the feral look and i'm not sure if you can see it in this video but her pupils i gave her a cat pupils kind of that that vertical slit um and uh, so give it that extra the cat-like look and uh here i am drawing the hand so if you're having trouble with the hand, I recommend that you just pose yourself as the hand. Like I did that earlier where I'm, you know, I'm using my hand as a uh, reference. So again, here I am. Just, the one thing that you notice is I'm constantly drawing and sketching and drawing and sketching. So again, don't be afraid to uh, erase. If you, this, if you make a mistake, just go ahead and erase it. We're, this is just a pencil stage. The pencil stage is the most important stage where you're laying out the foundation. So if you make mistake, that's fine. Um, you know, this is where you're supposed to make mistakes. Uh, so go ahead and, you know, don't be too, uh, uh, don't be too nervous about erasing and stuff like that. So there it goes. So I didn't like that leg pose. Uh, I, after like staring at it for a while, I realized that the, the, the leg pose where her right leg is uh, kind of like behind her fit the uh the overall pose well uh, better than the one where her leg is kind of forward so again i erased it i saw it and i thought about it and keep looking at it and i realized yeah that's the the first pose was better than the second pose and here i here i am drawing the log again i am a huge fan of drawing jungle type stuff and drawing logs and trees and branches and rocks and all that that comes second nature to me. Um, I learned how to draw logs and rocks and this just the jungle stuff from uh, two guys, two artists that I actually look absolutely adore and look uh, uh, look at their stuff for inspiration. It's uh, Al Williamson and Frank Frazetta. So both of these guys were just absolute master at drawing trees and rocks and little mushrooms and little branches and fern and all that stuff. So, uh, so whenever, when I, whenever I draw these jungle type characters, I always, uh, uh, look at Frank Rosetta or Al Williamson, uh, for inspiration before I start drawing those stuff. Uh, here I am adding the bikini. Um, Tigra has, wears a bikini with a hole in the back to let the tail go through, um, which I've always thought it was kind of funny. Uh, anyway, so, um... She's a cat person, so she has a big giant tail, uh, which I find kind of funny, you know, but that's comic books. And here I am adding the the classic tiger uh, trademark, which is her tiger stripes. So when I, again, the key is not to draw it too dark. Uh, if I was inking this, I would probably drew, uh, drawn the tiger stripe with Copic marker, a gray Copic marker. So it's not a black line like the real tiger, but a kind of a, a dark gray line because I don't want it to uh, really uh, mess up the, um, the overall appearance of tiger by having too black of a stripe. Uh, so here I am just adding the, the, the hanging ferns, the, the Spanish moss and, and all that stuff. And then here I am reinforcing the hair, giving it that, all that curl curls and you know the, the volume and the sheen and all that and just just reinforcing uh the line so i actually this this came out better than i thought uh to adding the final touch i'm adding the the background uh, just give it the hint of the jungle in the background just to give it for the overall effect so here's a little trick so by kind of like graying out the background uh, with a pencil um i would show you a real quick trick of how to emphasize uh give it the hint to the tree you basically erase it you you use the eraser and draw out these uh tree forms you know like branches and trees and stuff like that and that actually uh works really well um and give it the overall jungle stuff without overpowering the the foreground figures so there it is tigra of marvel universe